the real Tina from XXL Scrunchies and Co. commented on my YouTube video. We have recently crossed our 10k sales. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a great week. And if you are new to this channel, let me tell you that I am Sunana and we run a small scrunchy business named Plur. If you want to see our whole product range, you can visit our website. The link will be in the description box. Finally, I am making this video. This is the most requested video. You guys wanted to know the process, how I make scrunchies. This is it guys this is the video for you guys let's go without any further delay let's start the video We are going to cut all the fabric guys. Working together really makes the work faster than cutting it alone and then proceed for sewing. We are going to make 2-3 pieces of each size because I don't have enough space to store them. So guys before getting into the video i just wanted to give you a glimpse of our new collection look this print isn't it pretty so pretty cute cute then i have this color look at this color perfect for christmas right christmas is arriving these all are satin then i have one yellow color also this is my first ever yellow then i have this print look at this print it's really cute and pretty this green green and yellow oh my god just look at the print guys this is black but it it's different it has these red flowers these small red flowers on it i'm sure the scrunchies will look so damn pretty with these prints and i have got some organza also here it is if you can see here oh 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 here i have lined up my organza first of all yes i don't have a sewing machine so i take help she is older than me i call her d but she lives in my neighbor she really helps me with everything So now all cutting is done. It's time for sewing all of our scrunchy loops. So we usually use the OG method for sewing the scrunchies. this is satin so it's gonna fray so i'm going to cut all the fraying threads first i'm gonna cut all these extra thread which is coming from the opening now from this opening i'm going to put elastic with the help of a safety pin Yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna triple knot our elastic. I'm 
And that's it. That's done. That's how I do all of my scrunchies. It's time to close the last team of our scrunchies. Also, I have one order to pack right now. So, let's pack the order. Hi guys, so I am having my cousin brother with me today. Hi guys, so he will be packing the order today because he loves packaging our order. So guys we are almost done with our scrunchies only the finishing part is left which I will be doing tomorrow. guys so it's another day and today we will be finishing up our scrunchies this is probably the last part of making a scrunch what today we are going to do we are cutting off these extra threads we are going to trim off and today we are gonna inspect this scrunchie as a fabric can be ripped while sewing so that we are gonna check after that we will be finalizing which will go in the lot pie and which will go for the retail buy. this frosty blue color oh my god it's so soft and just look at the frosty soft color i don't know why okay look. now you can see the actual color it was shining so bright look look at the shine oh my god also guys i have a great news to share with you we have recently crossed our 10k sales that is 10,000 rupees sale. If you are from India, you know that how much 10k is and it was unbelievable for me as well as for my family like what and when this happened. <laughs> okay, thank you so much guys for supporting, for liking my content, for sharing my posts, my videos, for making even a purchase of one scrunchie. Thank you so much guys. I love you all. Thank you so much. And also I have completed all these scrunchies. Luckily, uh, there is only one for a lot by scrunchies because, um, let me show you. Here I've got this mark. I don't know from where it came. I got this mark and then there is it is ripped. So this will go for a lot by. I'm not including it for retail. But these threads are all over me. I'm going to clean it now. Clean this brush. And boom. Gone again. <laughs> So guys, I literally have no space to keep my scrunchies. That's why I make a, like only 2-3 of each fabric because I don't have space 
to my scrunchie when I got ordered then only I make a scrunchie otherwise I just keep in stock like three scrunchies guys <laughs> oh my god guys I mean guys the real Tina from XXL scrunchies and co commented on my YouTube video why how what's happening guys we have just received one order and she is a returning customer she ordered four excel size scrunchies oh my god she is in love with our excel size damn we will be packing another order on this video guys that's all for this video hope you guys enjoyed this and if you enjoyed this just don't forget to like subscribe and share this video also if you have any doubts in your mind if you want to see or any video idea just comment down below i would love to see it and would love to help you guys bye bye take care have an amazing week